Hey guys, it's me, Julie, back with another video. Today is Throwback Thursday. Woo! Vintage jewelry today. Hopefully I pulled a good bin. Here's hoping. I keep peeking as I'm talking to you. <laughs> All right, if you would like to purchase something, pause the video here and I'll tell you exactly what to do. And I think this is going to be true that I'm going to ship this weekend because I think Mackenzie is coming. Yay! So hopefully that happens and your packages will go right out. Okay, let's start. So I would call this bin of jewelry mostly vintage. How's that? Yeah, let's call it that. All right, so we have some, we've got a little dent right there. Uh, a little bit of gold tone loss on the edges. They're pretty though. They almost look wire wrapped, but they're not. They're an inch and a half. And I felt like I saw something written on that. Look, doesn't it look like there might be something written there? Somebody told me that this worked better than I was thinking it did. So I hope that's the case. I can't see it. I need more magnification. It says my lore Italy 925. Ooh, well that's cool. All right, that's really cool. All right, let's 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 hit him with the magnet. Well, now they're cooler, right guys? <laughs> All right, we'll test them. That's neat. All right, always check your stuff. I was about to not check it. All right, I have another pair of earrings that, oh my gosh, are to die for. Please, 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 somebody buy these. <laughs> they're so cute. <laughs> oh my gosh, you guys. These are to die for, they're so cute. I absolutely love them. I'm gonna do these for five dollars. Five dollars. I start giving you prices and my voice goes funny. Did you notice that? <laughs> my voice wants everything free. Um, so I am thinking, talking about everything free. This is cute, it has a little bit of glue showing. Silver tone, it's kind of like faux delft, if that makes sense. It has a drop of 12 inches. Yeah, that's acrylic there. Probably a transfer. Remember how to tell that? It will be all little dots as a transfer. Transfer wear instead of, can you see dots? Instead of hand painted. Um, okay, a little bit of wear right there. Ta -da. Not too bad. Uh, spring ring clasp. Let's do this one for $4. You might wanna change that one jump ring. Okay, four dollars. Oh, speaking of free, <laughs> I was thinking of doing two weeks of something. You guys gotta tell me what you think. Please, please comment below. All right, I have a little bag of single earrings, it looks like. No, they're not singles, they're matched. Okay, I forgot I did this. Some things I put together just to, to move it along, you know what I'm saying? Okay, so here we go. Um, silver tone, some light wear with a yellow acrylic ball, $2. I was thinking of doing a week, the entire week is sterling silver. The entire week, because I have a lot and I just bought a whole bunch of rings. I don't know why, but they're awesome. Speaking of that, look. Oh yeah, I know, it's really large and in charge. Has it passed large and in charge and gone to like world domination size? Because if it did, that's a little much. <laughs> I realized that I love marcasites. Guys, I never liked marcasites. I thought they were, mm, eh, didn't like them. And I have been all about the marcasite lately. Oh, a lot of the rings I just purchased have marcasites on them for you guys. Okay. Come on, Julie, get back to work here, please. These are so cute. How about just a dollar on them? They are acrylic, acrylic post. Like a child's earring, but hey, they're beautiful sunshines. I think anybody should rock them. These have a little bit of wear around the edges. They're a vintage enamel. Just a dollar on those, you guys. Okay, what are these? These look interesting. Oh, is that the Harley Davidson symbol? Yeah, it is. It sure is. I don't know if it's a like licensed product, but that's cool. Okay, let's look at them for reals. Come on, buddy. 
There we go. I think that is the Harley symbol, the Harley like shield or whatever that is. Okay, they are magnetic. Um, let's do these for, let's go $4 on these, $4. Okay. Um, okay, we have more acrylic little danglies on hooks. Gold tone, not perfect shape, but not horrible, a dollar. Okay. All right, these are cute. <laughs> cute little vintage uh, acrylic earrings. Um, silver tone on the top, but then gold tone. These are just gonna be a dollar. Little dangles, a dollar, a dollar for dangles. These are just gonna be a dollar. They're a little uh, lighter weight. Uh, post earring stud, I would call these. With some enamel, dollar. It's the dollar holla. <laughs> Uh, and these little acrylics with some like lavender color, silver tone. These are lighter weight. These, are, if you don't like heavy earrings, these might be nice for you. I'm just gonna do a dollar on these too. All right. So yeah, I was thinking about doing sterling silver all week, one week. So four videos of sterling, and then the following week after that, do a whole week of clearance. Um. Tell me what you think. I think it would be fun. Oh gosh, guys, this is so cute. A little vintage ring. It is adjustable. This is so cute. Um, this blue, I would call it a light blue. Not really, not super turquoisey. It looks a little bit more turquoisey on the camera. It's a six and a quarter right now, but it is adjustable. See right there? <laughs> Ooh, speaking of adjustable, guess what got delivered today? Mm-hmm. I have officially embraced my um, middle agedness. <laughs> we had an adjustable bed delivered today, you guys. <laughs> this is um, $10 on that one. <laughs> and I am excited about it. I'm hoping my husband can get rid of his CPAP machine. That would be awesome. He does, he has like a sore back from, you know, he does a physical job, so. He doesn't stay comfortable in the bed long and then ends up on the um, couch. Okay, guys, I believe these are real pearl. These are really pretty. Stretchy, a little dirty on the elastic there. So he's hoping he stays in bed a little longer, which would be amazing. Yeah, they have a little bit of a grit to them. And then I'm also seeing, do you see those like rings? And then size-wise, are they perfect? No, they're all a little different. So yes, I believe this is real pearl. Uh, it might need a restring soon, you guys. Yeah, oh yeah, she needs a restring. I'm gonna go $5 and you might have to get her some new stretch. I cannot stand restringing stretch bracelets. Anybody know a trick to it that makes it not horrible? Cause I really don't like it. I feel like I can never get the knot right. That's my problem. Okay, here we go. Uh, tiny, tiny, if I'm being picky, a little scratching right there and right there. Let me look at it out of the camera. Hard to see. It's hard to see you guys, but the camera's picking it up. There you go. A little brochy poo. How about $3? $3. This is like newer vintage so far. Vintage like me. <laughs> All right, here we go. Beautiful tennis bracelet. Gorgeous. I love that they're princess cut square stones. Let's look for some markings. Uh, I don't see anything. Okay. One time I saw something marked right there, guys, on that little teeny piece. So look everywhere. There's not a standard of a standard marking area. I wish, that would be cool. Okay, so here's the deal, you guys. I'm gonna tell you about this in case you didn't watch my video. Do you see right here? Oh, shoot. Okay, forget it. On this bracelet, it doesn't work. I'm gonna tell you about it anyway. I thought that this part wasn't magnetic, okay? So, I found a bracelet that only the ends where it was clasped, so only the clasp, clasp part 
was not 925, okay? The rest of the bracelet was 95, and I used to always scratch, ugh, scratch on the clasp part so people, you know, if it made any little damage to it, um, it wouldn't show, like on one of these. So be careful of that, okay? I probably sold uh, 925 bracelets as not. I am sure of it. Okay, this is coming in at a six and three quarter. And I will do this one for $6, $6. It's very pretty. I bet if you let that, uh, give that a little clean, that would sparkle like mad. Okay, I'm picking instead of just looking. Julie, no picking. Look at this. This is hand painted. Somebody hand painted some flowers on a wooden bangle. I think it's cute, you guys. And then it looks like they varnished it after, so it should stay. Good thinking. Good thinking, peeps. Uh, it's coming in at a seven and three quarter, you guys. Close to an eight. Let's do this one for four bucks. Four dollars. You guys, I found this ring seller, and I'm gonna tell you more about her um, when my ring comes in, but I found, okay, so let me, let me back up. I sold a ring way back when I started selling um, on whatnot, and it was a ring that I intended to keep, but then somebody saw it and they asked me about it a few weeks in a row. This has some light wear, you guys, $2. So um, I finally said, I'll sell it to you for 50, thinking she might say no, and she was like, okay. So I sold the ring and I've been sad about it. I took pictures of it before it left so I could find this ring again. That's how dumb it was of me to sell it, but that's okay. This is pretty little patriotic pin, American flag. It's in nice shape. Let's do this one for five. Um, so I've been looking for this ring forever, doing reverse Google searches, typing in what it is. It was a black rhodium plated sterling. Um, I haven't been able to find it. You know, just struggling, haven't found it. Like, this is not vintage, so I don't know why it's in here. But remember what I said. Mostly vintage. <laughs> Gunmetal clampa. A clampa. Let's see. It's a seven. Oh, it sounded like the clamper wasn't closed when I went too far. Yep, look it. She has burst the button on her pants. <laughs> okay, I would say six and three quarter, you guys. That's a nice shape. How about $4? Very nice shape, actually. So anyway, looking, looking, looking. I've been looking all along, haven't found it. I just randomly was on Etsy today and Etsy made a suggestion of this lady who makes her own um, jewelry. Oh, a leaf's missing. That's so sad. Oh, very unbalanced. So in my brain, I'll tell you what I would do with this. If I really like this, I would just pop this one off and then they're even Stevens. <laughs> or take the earrings, pop them off the earrings and put them back on the bracelet. That would be cool. It's a cute little box clasp. I'm doing it the wrong way. I'm doing it the wrong way. No, guys, didn't I just do this on camera? It was a button. Oh my gosh. It was a snap. There is something wrong with me. Come on, brain, engage, please. <laughs> you can do this. It's a seven. So uh, here's what's gonna happen. You're gonna buy a bracelet and you're gonna get some earrings for free. These are marked BMC. Okay. Um, Mother of Pearl with the cute little maple leaf on there. Let's do $6. $6 on that. Okay. I don't know where I was at. So Etsy suggested, I've been looking at rings a lot. Too much. Uh -huh. Yeah, too much. Um, so Etsy suggested this ring seller. She makes all her own stuff. I started looking and I was like, oh my gosh. I love everything here, like everything, you guys. They're weird and different and fun, and no one is ever gonna have the same ring as you. Like, they're that different and so cool. Let's see what this says. Let's see. Oh, it's a patent pending, you guys, patent pending. So these are cloisonne clip-ons. 
maybe some slight wear, not terrible. They're really, really beautiful. Let's do these for, let me show you, gorgeous. Let's do these for seven, seven dollars. So her stuff kind of had the feel of that ring that I sold and shouldn't have sold. So I messaged, messaged her and said, you know, I sold this ring, I totally regret it. Could you make one? And then I sent the message off. This is really cool, guys. This is enamel on copper, I believe. It's got some weight to it. It's very cool. Cool pendant. So I sent the message off to her, and then I kept looking at her rings, which I should have done first. <laughs> I found the ring, you guys. I found it. Okay, this is going to be $6. Yeah, she had it, guys. She had it. It probably was her ring that I had all those times ago. Uh, Periwinkle by Barlow. I don't think this is vintage, you guys. $29. Hmm. And that looks like it was the clearance price. Check that out. Maybe. Maybe it's clearance. I don't know. This is beautiful. Silver tone stretch with lots of different uh, acrylic pieces. Uh, let's do this one for $6. New with the tag. Nathan's putting together a shoe rack. Did you just hear it crash? <laughs> what the heck? This isn't vintage either. This is. So I bought the ring, of course, because literally I've been looking for it for a year. And I'm just so excited to show you when it comes in. And I'll show you her website. She had, um, I think it was 279 rings. And they are all crazy, amazing large and in charge no not all large and in charge but they're so good you guys so good well if you like that sort of thing i guess which i do i think these might just be acrylic yeah all right so let's look at this we have some a b acrylic finish stones right here and then it looks like so oh no that one's a b hold on hold on can we get some flashing, please? <laughs> Flash us. <laughs> they are all AB. Sorry about that. I think you can see a little bit of glue on this one. Cute. Let's go 12. $12 on the rhinestone brochy. Um, okay, that's not vintage. What was I thinking in here? All right, we're just going to go with it, guys. We're just going to go with it. <gasps> Look at this. Ooh, this is nice. Ooh, with a little hook closure. What are, are the, could those be amethyst too? Oh my, this is nice. I like it. Uh, oh, it says 925, you guys. 925, 925 in the house. And it's not fibbing so far. Not fibbing. Let's see what we've got. We have some glass, some glass, glass, glass. Okay, that's weird. Guys, these are amethyst. At least that one was. <laughs> and this one's coming in at glass. I've seen that before though. I've seen, um, this might be amethyst, this little guy. No, I've seen it before where it was a ring I had, remember? And the bigger stone was glass and the smaller stone was amethyst. Probably a way to save money, right? This is very pretty. Let me give you a length. I can do total length. Let's see. Total length, I would say 16 inches, you guys. And we'll give that a test. We sure will. We sure will. All right. Um, stop picking. Stop picking. Okay. Here we go. Cute little shell brooch. You can see a little glue right there. Just want you to be aware. It's cute though. Somebody made it, I bet. Uh, Two dollars. Two dollars. All right, what is this? All right, so we have a lobster clasp, so it's not vintage. Hashtag not vintage. <laughs> it is a braided mixed metal chain. You have some rose gold, yellow gold, white gold tone. I should have been saying tone. That's cool. This is in like perfect condition, you guys. Let's see. Hmm. Hmm. 
my guess would have been that this is not. Yep, it's magnetic. Did you guys see it? Barely happened, but it happened. This one has a drop of eight inches. Beautiful shape. Uh, let's do $8. Eight inches, $8. Like a dollar an inch, guys. Okay, that didn't sound good. Okay, anyway. What are those? I see something pretty in the corner. <laughs> Don't put baby in the corner. All right, we have this ring, gold tone. What, is that writing in there? No, not writing. Let's give it a measurement. It's a nine. <clears throat> I, why am I doing this? You know it's nothing, Julie. It's okay though. Uh, let's go five bucks. That's cute. I like it. Instead of a stone, they made it like etched or whatever you would call it. Okay, come here, baby in the corner. <laughs> Somebody put these pretties in the corner. How could they? Look at these, you guys. Okay, so we've got like a kidney wire, ear wire. These are so cool. They're ceramic. I really, really like them. They're beautiful. Let's go five on these, five dollars. Ceramic or porcelain, I don't know the difference. I looked it up once. It obviously didn't stick. I didn't file it well. Yeah, I'm digging, can you hear me? I, yeah, I'm digging. I'm digging, because I wanted to show you vintage today. Mm, all right, stop digging. Ooh, look Napier, with the tag, ooh. I don't think it's super vintage Napier, but it is a little vintage. Spring ring clasp, perfect condition. Holy guacamole, perfect. That is nice. There's the Napier. This necklace was $25, it says. And then look, matching earrings, you guys, that I bagged separately. How smart of me. <laughs> uh, they are screw backs. These don't have, uh, there's the Napier. These don't have a tag, obviously, but they are still in super nice condition. Do you think they go together? I think so. I mean, they do now. <laughs> um, let's sell them together and let's go, let's go 15 on the set, 15. That's a nice set, you guys. If you resell, I think there's still money on that. I think so. All right, sorry, I'm getting all uh, put together over here. Have some clippies. What on earth? Ooh, what does that say, you guys? Jared? <laughs> like Jared Jewelers? <laughs> that can't be what it says. Oh, I don't know. Stop guessing. <laughs> It says jaded, J-A-D-E-D, -E -D. jaded. Huh, interesting. Have you guys ever heard of that? They don't feel super heavy. They're not super lightweight, but they don't feel super heavy. Hmm, should we get the phone? I think we shall. Hello, thank you phone. All right, here we go. Uh, jaded, jaded earrings. I bet it's gonna pop up with jade earrings. How much you wanna bet? Sometimes that's hard when you're searching. Yeah, see, jade, jade. Hmm, how about, all right, I'm gonna go online and I'm gonna do jaded uh, vintage jewelry brand. That might be too many words. Okay. Jaded jewelry. Okay. Jaded jewels. Okay. Jaded. Jaded. Are these jaded? Those make me feel a little better. It looks like it. Okay, that's cool. Let's, um... 
they are magnetic. Okay. All right, that kind of gives me an idea. Hmm. 45, 25, 85. Do you guys search with your middle finger? I, I don't like that I do it, but I do it. <laughs> um, okay, they're, they're going, how about we do this? Excuse me. Um, I would like to see, there it is. I wanted to see a signature because sometimes you can search longer than you think. Okay, because you might find a signature. Uh, you might find a site, though. Oh, that's it. But the signature might be completely different. But that is, that is the signature we're looking at. Why don't we look at this one, and we'll just see if there's a signature on this one. And then we'll quit. Yep, there it is. You see, guys? Okay. So that gives us a good idea. A lot of those were gold over something or other. These are not. These are not precious metal, but they are very pretty. It, it, it does have pull. There we go. Um, they're in nice condition. I'm going to ask uh, 15. One five on these. One five. I haven't heard of that brand. Had you guys? Tell me. You got to tell me. I'm curious. Okay, what is this? It's pretty. Silver tone. And it's all like um, textured to look sparkly. And Sarakov. Yep, Sarah Cuff. Cute. Five dollars. That's a big one. Let me put it on my palm. <laughs> Five dollars. All right. What is this one? Okay, this looks like a big tangled mess is what this one looks like. Lobster claw, not vintage. Okay, I, I see where this is going. It has like a nautical feel and it's cool. Look at, so you've got like a ring there, starfish, or what are we supposed to call them now? Oh, sea stars, some like cat's eye. That's cold to the touch. Uh, what else? Oh, here's a shell. Uh, where's the other end? Oh, here it is. I found it. I found it. Why did I do that? Did you see me just throw it into the mix? Let's just make it a little more tangled, Julie. Okay, here we go. Oh, there's a different shell, I think. Where'd you go? There we go. This is nice, I like it. Uh, so it's a triple strand, you guys. Triple strand. Hold on, what is going on here? Um. Huh, look at Oh. <laughs> you guys, this is what we clip to. <laughs> oh, Julie. All right, hold on. <laughs> I know what I'm doing this time, I swear. Okay, let's try again. <laughs> Triple strand. I was correct about that. I was just a little bit confused about my strands. <laughs> You got some mother of pearl. This is pretty. I like it. Let's see. I do not think this is precious metal, but no, it's definitely not magnetic. This is nice. It's very pretty. Let's go. Um, let's go six dollars on that. Six dollars. Okay, that was pretty once I figured it out. <laughs> All right, we have a little brooch. It is a bug. So cute. Look at the AB crystals, you guys. All right. I think this is a modern brooch, not a vintage brooch. We'll do $5 on that. The vintage rhinestones go for good money. The modern ones, not as much. I'm going to put the, I'm already saving stuff for holidays, so I'm going to put this in holiday. And that. Why are you, why are you guys in there? Huh? huh? Okay. Just pull out a pile, Julie. Just pull out a pile. What is this? Oh my gosh. Do you see what this is? Is this Wild Bride? Look at. Oh, the kitties are so good. What is he? Oh, he's cleaning his tail. Yeah. Is it Wild Bride? Oh, I was right. Look at you guys. So Wild Bride, B-R-Y-D-E. Their stuff goes for a good amount. They're a good company. 
good selling. This is really cute. I'm going to ask uh, $12, $12 for that one. So cute. Okay, so we have a vintage rhinestone brooch with a boo-boo. So cute, look at a bell. It's missing a stone here and a stone here. So if somebody would like to take this on, what in the heck? I think that just says zero, 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 zero. But you know my eyes. Okay, I'm sticking with zero, 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 zero. I'm not sure what that is. Let's just do $2 on this one. If somebody wants to take it on for a little project. Uh, okay, I'm in brooch heaven here. Brooch heaven. Aww. Guys, I knew what these were two seconds ago, and now I don't. <laughs> um, what is this flower? Is it foxglove? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Okay, it's in nice condition. There was a company that did a whole bunch of flowers, so I was looking for... Nope, not that. Okay, let's go five on that one. Gold tone and in great condition. We have some mother of pearl here. Mother of pearl necklace with gold tone spring ring. Little chips, that's so pretty. All right, total length on this one. We're looking at 15 inches, 15 inches. Let's do $5, $5 on that one. Okay, what are these? These are calling my name. They're like, pick me, pick me. What are these? They're cool. Look at that. Cha-cha-cha. Cha-cha-cha. I'm cha-chaing for fun, but I'm also cha-chaing to make sure all the rhinestones are there. <laughs> these are cute, you guys. Someone put the little comfort thingamajiggers on there. A tiny bit of verdigris right there. That would be that would be a situation where verdigris would be easy to take care of. Just an FYI. These are gorgeous. I'm going to ask uh, $6 for those. $6. Okay. I don't want to look at that one. Oh, what's this? I want to look at this. Look at this, you guys. It's like, it's dichroic glass, I believe. Um, but it's like dichroic glass made to look like Labradorite or something. Doesn't it feel like that? That is cool. I love all the flash in that. All right, so let's see the clasp. I see something written right there. My guess is this is probably sterling. Let's see. It does say 925, you guys. Uh, should we magnet test it? Why not? Good to have all the info. Okay, we'll test that one too. We'll test it. I'm getting hot. I have my air on, but I'm getting hot. Not good. All right, hold on. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go turbo, you guys. Living wild and dangerously. Oh no, I already had turbo on. <laughs> Do you have hot flash setting, please? I need hot flash setting. Oh my gosh. Okay. Ooh, Monet. It's a Monet. Oh, she's pretty. Nice condition. It's um like the antique gold tone, like there's black in each of these lines to antique it. Gorgeous. Uh, let's do seven. Seven on the Monet. Seven. I have a giant bag of earrings again over here. Are you in the mood? For a giant bag of earrings. I don't know if I am. <laughs> uh, you know what I'm in the mood for? A necklace to behave itself. Please. I, I, I don't... Uh, oh, I got it. <laughs> okay, this is cool. A ton of silver tone goodness. That's cool. All right, does it sign? No. All right, let me give you a, a drop on this one. And there is an extender being used. This is nine inch drop. Let me show you, it can get shorter to here, probably to all of these, honestly. And then there's a little extra left too. Uh, let's go $5, $5 on that one, that one's fun. $5, 
Oh, you guys, you need this one. Wait till you see this one. Uh, everybody's gonna want him. <laughs> Look at him. He's a little acrylic turkey from Hallmark. Two dollars. <laughs> oh my goodness. Look at this. This is one of your names out there that buys things from me. <laughs> I'm going to put it in your package. You know who you are. Um, everybody knows your name now. Sorry. <laughs> All right. Here we go. <clears throat> Another little brochie. This is cute. Uh, I see a little bit of glue right there. Do you see it? It's a nice shape. Like, I mean, if you had it on, it would be hard. I like to just point everything out though, you know. Uh, let's go four on this one, four dollars. Um, okay, I would like something besides brooches. Do we have anything else? Do we have anything else? Some people don't like brooches. Okay, we have a stretchy malachite chip bracelet. This looks like it was a price tag. Um, cute, how about five dollars on that one? Five dollars. Five dollars on the malachite. Okay, can we find something besides brooches? Seen a lot of brooches and a lot of earrings. Okay, let's see what this is. We have a pearl necklace. It has a beautiful uh, hook clasp. Now, what is this called, guys? Is this a box clasp? Have I been saying the wrong thing? I don't know. Here we go, beautiful. They're like champagne color. It's a longer strand, knotted in between. This feels nice. Let's give it a little test gently. They are faux. They are faux. What is that? Is that writing? Let's see. Sometimes these will have sterling clasps, you guys. Check them out. It does say something, oh, maybe Japan, but it's very worn, very worn. All right, let's do a drive-by. We need drive-by music. <laughs> All right, this one is going, oops, sorry guys, $6 on that one. That's a nice set, you guys. If you've been looking for a faux pearl set, that's it. Look at, I have these like bags of earrings. Should we go through them fast? Should we? Should we? Should we? Huh. Okay. I have a bolo tie. I don't think I've ever sold a bolo. But here we go. We'll try again. <laughs> this one's cool. It's enamel. Pretty. It has its little stopper ends. And like a brass. And it's a brown braided leather cord. Super pretty. How about seven on that one? Seven dollars. I don't have a clue what bolos go for. <laughs> no clue. Oh, look at these. These are clay. Check it out. Somebody probably made these. They're screw backs. And they're like an enameled clay. Kind of look like leaves. Cute. Screw backs, clay. Two dollars. Two dollars. I think I know what bin this is. I think I do. I think I've figured it out. All right, let's see this. Okay, what what is it? Um, that's a price tag string. It has stretch, but it's not awesome. It's cute. I've never seen one like it. Super cute. I'm tempted to say these are clay, you guys. They have a weird weight. Let's do three dollars. Three dollars on that. Okay. Let's see. Oh, these are pretty. Let's do these. We have some earrings. Those are pretty. They're in excellent condition. They are posts. I do not believe this is anything. It's reading as glass. I. It did not feel cool to the touch. All right, we'll test these. We'll test them. That would be fun if those were uh, sterling. All right, what are we going to do? We are going to look at this because I like these. I remember these. And then we're going to test. I think these are so fun. Look, you guys. 
Don't they just look like a good time? <laughs> they do to me. They're that kind of like huggy kind of style. Let's see. <laughs> they're cute. I think they're so cute. They look like a party to me. All right, we'll test those too. Okay, so here we go. Let's put, I have a little pile here. If you don't mind, I'm just going to throw it in the box quickly. Dun, dun. All right, and I'm going over to Timbuktu to get my testing stuff. Timbuktu. That just reminded me of something. I'm going to see my mom tomorrow, and I wanted to bring her a little stone. And I don't want to forget. Okay, here we go. All right, let's do some testing. All right, these red is 925. Let's test on the back side here. There we go. Put those to the side. And this guy red is 925, I mean was marked. And these are probably, if this is sterling, these definitely could be sterling, but those are hard to scratch. I will scratch this hook clasp though right here okay so something I do whenever I test you guys I always do my first scratch is the thing that's most noticeable on the piece okay so I scratch the pendant and then my next scratch down I keep it with the same item I scratch something that's you know not your first thing that you look at does that make sense like if I do earrings, I scratch the earring first and then the backing under it. Just if I do it that way every time, hopefully I don't get confused. It still happens. I do not like how that sounds. That makes me think that's not anything. Okay, we'll see. We'll see. Uh, let's scratch this one here. Okay, so the scratches are looking promising, honestly. Check them out. Looks pretty good. Okay, let's do this. Dun, 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 dun. Are you seeing blue? Go blue, come on blue, come on blue. Come on blue. <laughs> All right, let's see how we did. Yeah, these were weird, I thought so. So I'm gonna pull those out. These are not sterling. And then everything else is, that's exciting. Okay. Let's go back to these earrings. Okay, they do have a teeny dent right here. They are vermeil. There is a little bit of wear on the corners. Not bad, not bad at all. Um, let's do these for, let's do these for 12, $12. Oof, actually we'll leave them up here, why not? All right, so remember this was glass down here and amethyst here. Super pretty. Let's do this one for, uh, let's do, I'll do 15, $15 on that one. Okay, so we have some dichroic glass and a cool chain. Let me see, you know, this chain is having a hard time from being in a bag. This is an eight inch drop. I don't know if I told you that. Will this strain out? I honestly don't know the answer to that. Um, doing that makes me think yes, because it's already better. Uh, let's do this just for 10, okay? And that's because the chain needs a little bit of help. And then these awesome huggies, they are a party. They are. And they're a real party now because they are precious metal. Look at it. Okay, they're an 80s party, but I really like them. <laughs> they are so cute. All right, let me give you a width on them. They're about a three quarter inch hoop, you guys. And I am going to do these for $15, one five. And last but not least, these babies. These are not precious metal. And these are going to be $4. They're in excellent, excellent condition. Perfect condition. And they're not heavy if you don't like heavy earrings. Uh, okay, guys, I think that's everything for today. I gotta go help with that bed.
that adjustable bed. Oh boy. All right, you guys, I will see you tomorrow. Michelle, feel better. Bye-bye.